everybody. So it is April 5th, it's Tuesday, and we're about to do a brand new Disney adventure. This time we're at Disney World, and then we are on Disney Cruise Line. So I've got three nights to enjoy Disney, and uh, then onto the Disney Dream, one night back at Disney World, and then we fly home. But we're not gonna think about that yet, because there is so much fun to come. I'm flying American Airlines today via Philadelphia, which is a brand new route for me. And I've got so used to Terminal 5. And if you didn't see my tour of Terminal 5 on my last travel day video, I will put a card in for you up there. I think it's that side. So we're going into Terminal 3. Let's get to it. Let's get checked in. And let's start the adventure. Looks like we are going to D. This is F, E, let's go down to D. I like the pink lights. Case all dropped off. Time to uh, head to departures. Apparently it is crazy busy. And also once we're through, I've got the choice of three lounges today. So uh, let's go have a look, but security first. Well, despite the warning, that was 10 minutes tops. So I can live with that. They had plenty of uh, uh, gates open if you like so oh we are heading to the lounges get some breakfast get a drink and apparently cafe pacific is the one i want to head for so let's go there first the noodle bar on the right what you do you go down there you can have Asian noodles any time of the day or they have a small item of the Western menu if you like from bacon sausage eggs so I've just got some scrambled eggs and bacon picked up a couple of pastries and I've got this fantastic seat with a view out over the runway but as you can see there's some gorgeous gorgeous seating in this lounge along with a full service bar if you want it i'm not feeling champagne quite so early in the morning but it's there if you want it well as gorgeous as the cafe pacific lounge was it's time to go to the gate we've got gate 34. Um, i hadn't realized that all the big designers were in terminal 3 as well so i guess it's everywhere now I guess they assume all people flying are moneyed. But I'm just walking past Dior and Louis Vuitton that side. I can see Chanel, uh, Gucci, Bulgari. Very nice. But for now, off to the gate. We've got about 45 minutes till we take off. Not too long. And I'm excited to try American Airlines business class today. Brand new for me, so let's go. Please exit left for board 25. So before we take off, and I've got orange juice, which is why the mask is down, let's do a quick tour of this um, business class seat on American Airlines. 
So we've got the entertainment system as you'd expect with a remote control in there. I checked out what was on and it looks like we've got all the latest movies including the Oscar winners so I am happy. We've got storage space here as I said we've got the remote control charging ports. I'm assuming headphones, oh no headphones are going to go there okay so we've got this one. And we also have the very nice Bang & Olufsen noise cancelling headphones. These are a joy to use. I love these so comfy. Second little cubby here, we have the amenity kit. Amenity kit, not nearly as nice as BA, but we've got the eye mask, socks, earplugs, a pen, dental kit, and right here, we have hand and body lotion safety card is here behind me and here we have a little reading light right there we've got the uh, underfoot storage there my legs are short so pay no attention to that but it stretches quite away not properly wide but it is what it is pillow and duvet set and then extra storage under here but interestingly interestingly no cubbies no little hangers nothing if you had a jacket so uh that's the first time i think i haven't seen that on a business class but i don't need it anyway and obviously um i've got plenty of overhead locker storage but i like the uh i like not this sorry not this one i like this i like the finish on that and the seat is very, very comfy. So we are going to be just fine. And uh, touch screen right there for moving my seat and laying it flat. So that's me for now. Takeoff is due in about 15 minutes. I don't know if we're going to do it or not, but it's scheduled for 9.15 and landing around 12.50 in Philadelphia. So I'll see you in the air. Philadelphia. I've got about two and a half hours till my flight, plenty of time. Um, there are gates A to F. I landed at A and mine is at C, but we got loads of time. The thing is, they fed us so well on that flight, I'm not hungry at all. But I do want to sit down. And I do want to edit a vlog <laughs> because my footage is stacking up. At this point, I think I've got two more February vlogs to do. Then we're going into Paris and then this trip. But you won't know that because you won't get to this one till you've seen those. So <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to go down near my gate and set up camp and just get editing. Hey everybody, so let's do a quick update. I, um, well, first thing, I don't know if you've ever seen those uh, little stands where you can get a massage at the airport. I did that 
I paid to have a 30 minute massage. It was phenomenal. I'm so glad I did it. All the way down my back, my arms, my hands. It's great because I actually had the time. And then I am camped in uh, the airport, as you know. Right over here, you can get um, Philly cheese steaks. But I'm just, I'm not hungry. But this has been my view. I am editing, editing. I'm almost there. And uh, waiting for this to board. Flight should take off in about 35 minutes. So I am gonna have to pack up in a minute. But it's all going well. And with any luck, I will be in uh, Orlando about three hours from now. Ah! <laughs> We made it to Orlando. We're here. <laughs> it smells so good. I'm here. <sighs> Mask back on. Okay, you took me that little walk from the plane because they just kept doing announcements. <sighs> there was. It was on time, then there was a delay, then they changed it. And then it came, oh, I'll explain it all more later. But we're here, we're here. <laughs> Please excuse the state of me. I've just got here and I picked up an SUV because we're gonna be going to the port and I had to figure out how to drive. This is the first time I've driven a car where you don't actually use a key, you use your thumb and it's like, how do you move the seat? How do you do this? Anyway, 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 I have walked in to the cutest room alive. I like literally went, ah! I'm in a princess room at Port Orleans Riverside and I'd seen pictures, but I didn't think it would be this adorable. I need to show you around, I'm so tired. I need to show you this room. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start at the door and even above the door, we have this. We have a full length mirror. I need to pay attention to even the uh, trim on the light fitting, holy moly. Now we go around to the beds. Look at the tea for Tiana at the top. We've got the artwork on the bayou. Two, we've got two beds here. And they put our Mickey towel. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So we've got Snow White over here. More fittings, two plugs. Yeah. Oh, hang on. <gasps> Can you see this? <gasps> oh, holy cow. Ah! <laughs> it's too cute. Okay, coming over to this wall, we have the princess. Oh my gosh. And we have a gorgeous portrait of Tiana. More princess. Okay, a very royal wardrobe and drawers, and I presume that's the fridge. We've got this trim here, ice bucket and cups, coffee maker. If you know me, you know I don't drink coffee. So, um, beautiful chairs. We have a table with a letter from Princess Tiana to welcome us. Oh my God. The princesses are on the wall. I'm sorry, I'm just beside myself right now. And this is the drapes. And if I come down, look at the floor. Just, just, just. Coming into the bathroom now. We have the royal throne, if you like. This is beautiful. Look, there is actual sparkle in the top and it is all fitted out in gold <laughs> oh my gosh gold shower for royalty i mean this is going to be as close as i get to cinderella's suite 
So I think this is an this is an adaptable bathroom, but this is what we have. three nights. I need a shower. I need a drink. I, I oh my gosh right okay a little bit of a sort out and then go and find the food court and Riverside is massive and I got feeling these rooms are closer to French Quarter food court based on my last trip but we'll see. Oh my goodness. I'm a princess. I'm a princess. Okay, okay. Oh, stop it, stop it. Oh. I just princess waltz around my room. <laughs> okay. It's 12 minutes past nine. We're going to go and try and find uh, a drink and maybe a snack. I'm not that hungry, but uh, let's go for a walk. Oh, I can't, I cannot believe I'm back here. I like, I was in Paris like 10 days ago or something and I was in Disney World in February and I still am like, ah, <sighs> I can't be the only one. All right, let's go, let's just mm, let's go for a walk. Go for a walk. Let me mm. just take a minute to appreciate this. My room is there. This is like a giant mansion. Oh my goodness. And the, the fountain's glowing colors. Oh my goodness. Okay, watch where you're walking, girl. Watch where you're walking. <laughs> I can hear fireworks. I can't see them. This is way too exciting by far. Oh my god. Would you look at that? Uh, prettiness. So based on my last visit, I kind of know where I am. This is my building. Okay. And if I turn that way, across that bridge, I'll find the food court for uh, Riverside. If I go to my left, I'll end up down at French Quarter and I can hear the clip-clop of the carriage ride. Oh, so I think I'm gonna go that way actually. And the reason I'm slightly biased and heading towards French Quarter first is because I think I mentioned that I'm here to go on a cruise with friends. Well, two of them are over at French Quarter. They're out at dinner right now at Disney Springs, but I'm gonna go and have to say hello to them. I had this mad idea I was gonna to go to Magic Kingdom tonight, because it's open till 11 o'clock, and I still could, but we're now at 10 past nine, like, not worth it. I'm gonna see my friends, I'm gonna get a drink, at, ooh, beignets, and then, <laughs> Disney brain, <laughs> and then um, have a shower and get ready for a full Epcot day tomorrow. And, um, oh, and we're gonna be doing Pandora at night and then Disney Springs and meeting some other Disney friends who happen to be here at the same time. Busy, busy, busy. <sighs> See, I come on my own, but I am never, never, on my own. It's just the way it works. <laughs> we shall see. Right, I'm gonna take this walk to French Quarter and it's dark and I'm by myself. Oh, oh, I see fireworks, I see fireworks. They are going off. I can see lots of colorful bursts. You can hear them, but they are actually through the trees over there, or they were. They've stopped. <sighs> of course they've stopped. Typical. I just drove across this, so French Quarter is literally just there. So I'm gonna walk across this bridge. Normally, the walking path is under there, but we will find a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. Ah, looks like I'm gonna to have to literally go down 
the other side there's a slope. Do you know what I'm more scared of? I've got bushes either side and I can hear things rustling and I am deathly afraid of snakes and I know they're here I know they're at Disney but I try not to think about it but because I'm on my own I'm just <laughs> rambling away to the camera so just nothing bite me or eat me please <laughs> okay so I've come across that bridge and I've actually come down where I said the other side so I've had to go back on myself we're now going to walk under here. Yeah, the fireworks are going again. You know, I said they'd stopped. Off they go again when I can't actually get a view. Typical. <laughs> I'm going to say it again if you haven't visited French Quarter just to see it you're missing out with these gorgeous buildings and gorgeous courtyards and little streets <sighs> it lets you take a breath it's stunning there's a movie oh my gosh we have to see what it is oh gosh they're playing the end of they were playing Wally, -E, so it's near the end now movies on the lawn so I did a thing first I got a refillable mug if you see my haul video you'll know I don't need any more Disney mugs cups anything but but it's the 50th so I did and then I've gone in the scat cat lounge <laughs> and I've ordered beignets. I'm not super hungry, but I should eat something. So um, I've got three, and what I don't eat will be breakfast, and you choose one sauce, so I've gone for strawberry. They need to cool down, so once they cool down, I will show you the gorgeous Mickey shape that they are, and uh, my friends Shelly and Dawn are on their way, and it's all really exciting, so. I never filmed an outro. I'm so sorry. I was excited hanging with Shelley and Dawn, but join me tomorrow for a full Epcot Animal Kingdom Bonanza kind of day, and I'll see you really soon. Bye!